Radio AFG Live has come back! Home! And we're back! Season 11, Radio AFG Live! And we're still the champion platform for independent artists and entrepreneurs! Rock and roll, R&B, independent artists that have rap stuff, hit the block, get on top of that pop, it doesn't matter, we all let me rock here on Radio Radio G Live. And as always, your host is going at the Ganja Chief, the Ganja Boss, the Bob Deuce Gun himself. Ha! Now if you've got some music that you want to play on the show, want to get interviewed, send it in. subscribers on each of the YouTube and or the Twitch, those of you that's on my Instagram, those of you that's on Radio AFG Live Twitter page, as well as the regular Five Dudes Gun AFG Twitter page, greatly appreciate all of y'all. Thank you to all the artists out there that send their music through for us to play on the show. Keep it locked and loaded. We rocking out on season 11 with y'all, man. Just thank you so much. Greatly appreciate it. And as we about to get this thing looted up and looted up, you know I'm talking about? Because I already got a couple of Twisted Hemp's already up there. I even got my Twisted Hemp glass filled to the pill to on the bottom of one of them. We got some Cape Crusader. I, I was able to differentiate because I know when I put the Cape Crusader inside that one, I put the glass drawn on there. This is some Strawberry Cherry Gelato. Both of those are grown by the fine folks at Crespo Yeltsha. You know what I'm talking about? And then inside my Villa Lago, a.k.a. my blunt room, we got some niceness in there. Ladies and gentle measles, I would like to introduce you to Enzane in the membrane. No cypress here. I'm just saying jump around. We ain't even saying the same thing. I'm just saying. I'm just saying we got a couple of flavors. That right there, grown by the folks at Grassroots, all out here in Pennsylvania. Cresco adds Grassroots, the curiosity of where they come from. Nice ass dispensary known as Cure Relief, 5058 City Avenue, 5058 City Avenue here in Philadelphia, P. Easley. And we locking it down for you just like that on Radio AFG's League. Medicine Bag Mundelezy. You just say it. You just say it, bro. That being said, we're about to jump into the first extended music mix. Get it locked and loaded right now. Kicking this first extended music mix off right now, man. We're going to have this thing produced and performed by your boy Hot. Featuring Kata of Touch Money Entertainment. The track is entitled Savages. It's Radio AFG Live. Champion platform for independent artists and entrepreneurs. Your God the Chief says, Acknowledge Tree. Yes, 
the wall, head to the sky. This is a good choice, please, mama, don't cry. Respect the shit you didn't clutch, I am. This world from the Super Bowl, love is the bird, 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 bird is flying. Respect the shit you didn't clutch, I am. This world from the Super Bowl.
Dragon Title Circles right here on Canadio AMG Live. We on that good, good medicine bag Monday vibe. The ganja chief just brought out the good, good medicine bag. We rocking and rolling. This is how we going. Next up, we got the homeboy Madara Sankara. The track is entitled I Swear. It's Radio AMG Live. Cheers! <laughs>
with you. Certified confirmed winner. Living in the well, where an innocent child could quickly turn sinner. Learn to set up stand and shake in a snake slam. When the ops scheme for an ops scene painting. Track record longer than the case lay song. These actors really getting smacked after the case fade ball. For the playmakers, we switch it up on a fly. Used to be the street team, not my name on the fly. Started small, seen it evolve. I needed to call. Even for the dumb and the deaf, I'ma repeat it for y'all. You might get it, but know itself the only way to keep it. Rap is a lonely tale, a holy grail seekers. Listen to elder teachers, we build with the wise. To break down and build the algorithms that's filled with the lies. Surviving in the hood, kings with the greatest charm. Recognizing good things, it's too late when it's gone. Let 
we do, we don't got to fight like every night. I try to do good and do the things you like. Rose petal pass, pass with the candle lights. Fruits from overseas, just wrapping this from the other day. I wish we could sit and talk without getting hype. You literally be down, and then niggas, it's like I call them bite. I'm not even mad, just acting out of spite. But through this plight, remembering through this darkness that you my light. Through my lows, brought me down your heights. So why be wasting time being petty, fighting like who was right? Despite all this drama, I want you in my life. Let's make it right. Sorry for being tight. Since we always argue in. We always argue in. Go to sleep in the rain. Wake up and sit in the rain. But I hear you. Thank 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 you. Weed on this 
being the first extended fusion mix of the midday afternoon. Holding it down for us next, produced by your boy Hot the Five Deuce Gun. It's your homeboy representing Top Notch Incorporated. The track is entitled The Bad Guy. And the homeboy Mossberg locking it down next. Radio AMG Live. Champion platform for independent artists and entrepreneurs. Let's go! Lights came in action, yeah, so on me. Became a good fella before Pesci. New Jack City, without Wesley, no little. Before Lawrence hit the screen, my life is a move with pop and certain twists. Beginning and ending with dialogues and scripts. The days ain't sunny like the boss from Bronx Tale. Don't true American gangsta way before Denzel. Back against the wall, but beside the front row. The stroke paying roll, that inspired the movie blow. True desperado, you looking like we amigos. Huh? Yeah, I started out on one, but now they want a sequel. Unless it's society that's known to be strict. Ain't talking about bamboo or old hair wax. I'm talking about my life, and some things that I've seen. It's the last time you see a bad guy like me. But take a look into my life. Watch what you see. It's the last time you see a bad guy like me. Take a look into my life. Watch what you see. It's the last time you see a bad guy like me. Take a look into my life. Watch what you see. It's the last time you see a bad guy like me. Take a look into my life. Watch what you see. It's the last time you see a bad guy like me. Grew up a boy in the hood with no poor justice. Had to do the right thing unless summer gets you suffered. Uh-huh. It's so full. Trust the juice to be my belly. Told some tales from the hood. You caught a fella me. Now I'm on the run, consider that I blow. A real fugitive, just like Harrison Ford. Met original gangsters that screwed me to the game. Yep, show me how not to be a low down to the shame. No king of the big boy, I was raised by a godfather. Had four brothers, lived with big mama. Stay paid the pool, doing their school days. No oh, I said it all before a cradle to the grave. Had whips and chains before a jangle been a slave. This ain't my first time on spring, it don't handle no chains, eh? Nope, just talking about my life and just the things that I seen. It's the last time you see a bad guy like me. Take a look into my life, watch what you see. It's the last time you see a bad guy like me. Take a look into my life. Watch what you see. It's the last time you see a bad guy like me. Take a look into my life. Watch what you see. It's the last time you see a bad guy like me. Take a look into my life. Watch what you see. It's the last time you see a bad guy like me. You some reservoir dogs that plugged in the casino. Stayed above the law, had a cousin named Carlito. Oh, straight suicide thing, and held an iron eagle. Yep. You a couple of goonies. Wanna tell me though, real little dudes, no few good men. I really in sports, played above the rim. Had the Chinese connection, name was Queen of Slum, where they ate at restaurants, bought a swordfish, drank to kill the sunrise with some average white chicks. Knew the scheme, how to get some day presidents. Drove fast and furious to the next residence. Grabbed the blue still before they had to go to the New true couldn't play that game, we fell out the hallway, caught a ricochet, ended up with a scar face. If I'm talking about my life and some things that I've seen, it's the last time you see a bad guy like me. Take a look into my life, watch what you see. It's the last time you see a bad guy like me. Take a look into my life, watch what you see. It's the last time you see a bad guy like me. Take a look into my life, watch what you see. It's the last time you see a bad guy like me. Take a look into my life. Watch what you see. It's the last time you see a bad guy like me. Take a look into my life. Watch what you see. It's the last time you see a bad guy like me. Take a look into my life. Watch what you see. It's the last time you see a bad guy like me. Take a look into my life. Watch what you see. It's the last time you see a bad guy like me. Take a look into my life. Watch what you see. It's the last time you see a bad guy like me. Take a look into my life. Watch what you see. It's the last time you see a bad guy like me. Produced by the Five News Gun, man, that was the homeboy Mossberg with. Whew, the bad guy, shit, man. I was laughing and choking at the same time, no pun intended, but it's what it is, what it is. That being said, Lady about to smooth it out right now off that most wanted project known as Love Me Not. It's the homegirl, Atkin Rose, and the track is entitled Most Wanted, Radio AMG Live. That's the bad Monday continues.
holding it down off that Love Me Not project, the track entitled Most Wanted right here on Radio AFG Live, man. Hold it down for us up next. You might find yourself opening up a pack of smoking on it. I'm just saying. I know I am. Produced by the homeboy DJ Page One. It's your boy Hot Lock of the Damn with OZs right here on Radio AFG Live. Check the platform for independent artists and entrepreneurs. Your ganja chief says, Acknowledge Tree. Roll up. Once again, we have first extended music mix. 
Radio AMG Live, and it's a bad Monday. Just about 16 minutes left to go in this first extended news mix. Coming outside of it, we're going to give you the lineage of this Cape Crusader. I am Batman. And tell you about a couple of things that you, as a Pennsylvania medical marijuana, want to be getting it. Have your car to be flipping and shipping it. That being said, they on my light and shit. And you drop that on the floor. I can't be doing that. I need you right close to me. Once that thing go off, that's it. That being said, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to keep this news moving in this first extended news and mix. Next up, right here, we're going to go overseas real fast. Produced by UK's own DJ King Flow. We got Tiske Sanka locking it down with Nuketown. It's no Call of Duty. It's Radio AMG Live. <laughs> Take it. 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 Take it.
played with. Yes, man. Brooklyn streets, we done paved it. Brooklyn Keep your flowers. nose and get money and don't say shit. Never. No disrespect is to be taken. Nah. I am the one, I'm not the one, he's not to be played with. Yes, man. Brooklyn streets, we done paved it. Flat Keep flat. your nose and get money and don't say shit.
you live over there with Young Chris once again. That track was entitled Say It Again, off that No Expectations, No Disappointments project. Next up, hold it down from PA over to the CA side. Hold it down with the homeboy Geechee Gotti. It's 2 a.m. in Hollywood Hills, Radio AMG Live. That's a bad one, Hold up! What's important? Keep killing all the real niggas, it's a shortage. That are stuck with all these lame niggas, shit's annoying. Hate when private life tend to get exploited. Considering my fame really can't avoid it. And I'm really from my gang, I can't get extorted. If you ain't get the picture, put the shit in portrait. I said, if you ain't get the picture, put the shit in portrait. You gon' make me hit your bitch until I get abortion. She can never have my all, only get a portion. Got me popping out of raws and I'm hearing voices. Kill a beat, kill those is really choices. In the voices with some models, see who get the moistest. And if she like to swallow, probably get a voice. Yeah, if you was balling, you would catch that. I know we love the trenches, it's a death trap. Where you from is where you usually get left at. Right or wrong, I speak the truth when I write a song. Double cup, pouring juice in a star phone. Bro, said he'd rather jail and don't feel right at home. And when he in that cell, he feel right at home. He write letters and raps cause he can't write at home. Got smoked in the streets, he left his pipe at home. Got smoked in the streets, he left his pipe. I woke up from a sweet dream. Don't share my locations, I can't be seen. Addicted to that clout, niggas be fiends. Ignore them red flags, bitches be green. Can't trust nobody, watch your head, you say. Seen niggas die because they made mistakes. Heard a mama say a cry don't take the pain away. Died when his birthday was only days away. They fed his ass a meal and he ain't say his grace. Slid on his bad home, I thought that shit was safe. Change your pace, slow it down, life be moving fast. Once you leave your lane, that's when you usually crash. Do the dash, I ain't looking in that rear view. Granny said, boy, you a king, they gon' fear you. So say it loud and clear, make sure they hear you. And don't have them jealous people nowhere near you. The whole boy Geechee Gotti locking it down a track entitled 2 a.m. in Hollywood Hills. Coming up on the penultimate track of the first extended music mix right now, but first up, give a big up to the homeboys. We added again 22 in the chat, respected as well. And I'm talking about, I don't see that in the first came up, and respected as well. I was in the groove doing what I do. God bless you, my friend. That being said, we're going to keep this thing moving as we get into the penultimate track of the first extended music mix, ladies and gentlemen. Featuring the homeboys, Great God and Mars Money. We got Young Amsterdam with no bluff. Radio AMG Live. Champion play. You are not listening to God's purpose. Come on. Time coming. 
Y'all run it. I got a nigga like me is gunning. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all niggas got friends. I do a bare face, I be bugging. Drink cold beer shots, I be slugging. On your block, I be hunting. Come from an era where we do this for nothing. Ain't no starting or bluffing. For too long, they be taking advantage of our kindness. It's a matter of time before I start wilding. Gotta think for ignorant niggas that only respect violence. Now and then, I put one in their head to remind them. Let me give you some clarity before I make this a tragedy. That just means I'll go all the way, pleading insanity. Plug you in your back, shock your whole family. The negative influence around you, giving you the battery. I don't wanna have to give it to you. What you supposed to handle? Load the script, put the clip in and shoot. Playing for court. Time coming, y'all running. But a nigga like me is gunning. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all niggas got friends. I do a bare face, I be bugging. Big drink, cold beer shots, I be slugging. On your block, I be hunting. Come from an era where we do this for nothing. Ain't no starting or bluffing. We're not listening to God Brothers. Uh, Brooklyn, Lennox, Flatbush, we outside. What's up, Mars? It's been a long time coming. Eternal trick, but all you gotta do is be my eternal trick. That's it. 
Do you believe there's life on the other side? Blowing green grass, watching the ocean tide. Hold on, I told y'all, can't hold on, I'll move on. Do you believe there's life on the other side? Blowing green grass, watching the ocean tide. Hold on, I told y'all, can't hold on, I'll move on. Personally painting all this liquor that I'm chasing is only to repair. Man, my life is real. See through my red view. Rap glasses with the tent. Back to playing hitch. Why I gotta find love by times I survive up. Rolling with the tiger. I saw more turn up happening in my life. I'm just blocking out the confines. Restricting me from growing. You should get to know me. I work hard. I work hard. In the end, I gave it all on my job. On my job, but fate just see me fall. Parts about the first. While my heart is my first drink. Dark. Get it done. Niggas, that's what I deserve Life turning curves I'm on the bus for hustle Buck 60 stick to the band Dig me Do you believe there's life on the other side? Blowing green grass Watching the ocean tide Hold on, I told y'all Can't hold on, I'll move on Do you believe there's life on the other side? Blowing green grass Watching the ocean tide Hold on, I told y'all Can't hold on, I'll move on Would you believe That it's a whole new world No princess and Jasmine Or Aladdin for the Girls and the boys, young H ain't pushing no agenda. Can't plan it, we ain't talking about your genders. Don't make you fuse my seat and shit we do. My jump on your couch, dirty shoes, no time cruise, my I'm trying to get my cheek on quicker. After that, mama see the temple cheeks up quicker than unzip my zipper. Liquor, you can sip that. I'ma get a beer, got a spear, you can grip that. Get over here, and get close to me. Mama see the roller dutch and just toast with me. I am Mike and young H double A K. I am the five dudes. Baby, AFG, baby, CEO from the five through streets, baby. You get like it down, but the way we got it now, you wanna come here. Jump up on the leer, don't be distracted by that bullshit over there. We can take an eternal trip, but all you gotta do is be my eternal trip. That's it. Do you believe there's life on the other side? Blowing green grass, watching the ocean tide. Hold on, I told y'all, can't hold on, I'll move on. Do you believe there's life on the other side? Blowing green grass, watching the ocean tide. Hold on, I told y'all, can't hold on. Yo, what's up? This is Terrell Owens, a.k.a. Hall of Famer T.O. I'm in the building. This is for my guy, Young Hot the Five Deuce Gun. He's in the building, and if you want to check him out, y'all check him out on Radio AFG Live, Monday through Friday, 2 to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Also, twitch.tv forward slash the Five Deuce Gun. Also, if you guys need some airplay or some interviews, y'all make sure y'all email him as well. That's at the Five Deuce Gun at gmail.com. That's D-A, the number five, D-U-E-C-E-G-U-N at gmail.com. That's what's up. Holla. This is your boy T.O. Y'all, be, hey, don't forget to check him out, yo. Radio AFG Live, Monday through Friday, 2 to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Holla back.
So with the conjunction and combination of the medical marijuana, I don't even have to go there first. I go right to coffee for the head. Sip a little bit. The whole cup not even gone. Foul! The migraine is, why take these pills filled with acetaminophen? Something that's going to make your blood be thinner and your organs be worse. Huh? Why would I do that? And then be wondering 30 years from the time I first started taking it, what's going on with my body? Why do I feel like this inside? Because all them goddamn pills and drugs they had you taking as a buck. I'm just saying. Every time something was wrong, they shove the drugs in your face. They tell you, drugs, no. No drugs. But if you're a little baby, all the way to an adult, every time there's something wrong, give them drugs. Some people even whisper to your parents, oh, they teething? Yeah, fuck a teething ring. Excuse my friend, that's not cursing. That being said, don't give them a teething ring. No, rub some whiskey in their gums. Hit them again. Two times for the good time. What are you talking about? Rub whiskey in their gums. It's a toddler. My fault. It's not even a toddler because he can't walk yet. It's a baby still. It's a baby still. It's teething. It's a baby still. It's a baby. Goo goo gaga. Didn't even say mom or dad yet. Didn't even say no yet. No first word yet. Give them whiskey. They head warm. They might got a fever. Give them some Tylenol. I'm just saying. How can y'all oxymoronically say drugs is bad, but give them drugs? I ain't saying go do drugs. Hell no, don't do no drugs. Do you see what happened when you put chemicals in your body? Look at the difference of somebody smoking marijuana live on here. This ain't no CBD drug. This is really from dispensaries. My name on this. I'm really a medical marijuana patient. I feel good as hell right now. But I don't think I'm sitting on a mountain talking to no fucking coyotes either. Joe Rogan. I'm not shooting up nothing. My arms and my feet and my hands is cool. Only scars on me is from street boxes. You know, going through shit in the streets. I'm from West Philly, 1983. That's not an area, that's an era. I was born there, 1983, January 10th. 10th day of the first month is Passover for those who know the Bible. But I digress. Moving forward, my name is Hakeem Umar. Learn to spell it, H-A-A-K-I-M, him in the flesh. Now, as you move again, that's a crazy area to come up in, right? You done seen some shit. Everybody done seen some shit, but I'm telling you, certain places in certain demographics, you're going to see a little bit worse than you might see other places. I'm not on drugs. I like this marijuana, and I found out about drugs when I was a child. Not drugs like crack cocaine and stuff like that. I knew about that shit. I even participated in elementary school in the D.A.R.E. program. That's against drugs. I was all for that. But see, I found out about medical drugs and what they do to people. As a child, I love to read still to this day. But since a child, adolescent, third, fourth, fifth grade, you know how old I was back then? Third, fourth, fifth grade? I'm barely touching 10. Oh, but I like to read other shit. So when I read, I like to go further. Not, I want to imagine I'm not here. No, no, no. I can read those fantasy books and novels in school. I want to read something that's actually going to elevate my mind for retention, not this lie that I'm learning how to tell in school. So with that being said, I found out about these drugs like acetaminophen. That's how I know how to say that word so well. And other drugs. Hell, when I was in a car accident in December 21st of 2013, they put me on six pills at one time for medication. I shall say five of them. The sixth one escapes me. The most common is a 600 milligram ibuprofen known as Motrin. Then we start to get into shit that I've never had before this, nor after this, nor will I ever take it because I became a medical marijuana patient because of these things. Six pills, four times a day, seven times a week, I'm sorry, seven days a week, equals 168. So you wanted me to pop 168 pills, six pills, four times a day. That's 24 pills a day times seven. That's 170, 168. Wait a minute. You trying to make me a drug addict with baclofen, sumatriptan. I already said that 600 milligram Motrin shit, cyclobenzaprine, flexoril. And I can't remember that six pill for some fucking reason because it wasn't some common name. It was just like a flexoril, cyclobenzaprine, baclofen. It was like one of them. But I don't remember that last one. But they had me on six different types of joints for pain and all that stuff. Man, you know that shit. Had me feeling wonky, had my body shaking on the inside, not outside. 
had me not being able to trust shit, don't know what's going on. I'm anxious. I'm like, what the fuck was going on? From a pill. Meanwhile, I smoked marijuana way before medical marijuana was in Pennsylvania. When I was 19 years old, I tried it. Rest in peace to my homie D that's right here that always co-hosts the show with me in spirit. He didn't die from violence. He didn't die from addicted to drug use. He had some type of seizure shit going on he lived with. And he passed away in his sleep. Thank God it wasn't no violence or nothing like that. But I digress. When I was 19 years old, I'm 41 now, by the way, I tried marijuana, street shit. There was no such thing as medical marijuana, recreational weed here in Pennsylvania, nothing. So I'm just getting little ass 25, 25s, which is little ass bags, that nickel bags and dimes used to come in back in the day. And smoking marijuana, trying it and getting liking the effects, how my body relaxed, back don't hurt type of shit like that. Okay, this is pretty cool. I'm a, now that I sat down with an older person that's older than me by eight, nine years, and I'm 19 at the time, and I said, man, I want to try this shit. They take you to their crib, don't play no jokes and pranks, really put me in a protective joint, explain marijuana and the effects that don't affect everybody the same way and talk to me about this shit. Now, nobody do that type of shit, no more. They, they, they barely did that shit back then. Somebody always want to play a joke on somebody. Look, I'm going to give them some brownie or some shit. Look, watch, they fucking stoned. Ha, 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 ha. Look, I'm going to give them some of this. They don't even know that shit is in there. Watch this. I'm so glad. They, rest in peace, D. Rest in peace, D. I'm so fucking glad that nobody did no wacky, dumb shit like that to me, popping drugs inside of something that I don't do or trying to make me do some other shit. Thank God. None of my fucking people was on that type of time. Thank God. Because some of y'all did get tricked into stuff, and y'all walking around outside in the summertime with triple fat gooses on talking to yourself. And it's not your fault. Somebody had slipped some stuff inside something that you was doing. They dipped your cigarette in, in, in what, what's that called? Uh, formaldehyde. They call it wet. Dippers. Do you know that like, they put that in your body to preserve your body and your organs and shit to look okay when you getting dressed up to go to your funeral? You dead. So why is you alive dipping your cigarettes and shit inside formaldehyde, embalming fluid? What the? Look at what look at look at, look at the influence that drugs have on people. I've been smoking marijuana since I was nineteen. I didn't inject no heroin. I ain't shoot up no meth, pop no different pills, sip, 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 sip on some scissor. Nope. It's a gateway drug. First of all, it's not a drug because a drug can't be grown through a seed. When you germinate shit and chemically induce it, that's a drug, but I'm going to leave that alone. That's why you can patent drugs, even the shit that's called diseases. They patent them. How the fuck the, C the CDC got all these drugs and all these what you call viruses sitting in there like H1N1. Do you know that H and that N is somebody's first and last name? Like the person who made it? Yeah, because you can patent shit that's man-made. You can't patent natural resources and things that are naturally grown that you can't manipulate. You can try to synthesize them like K2. But that's not the same thing as any type of strand of marijuana. And I would stay far the fuck away from that if I were you. But that's here, neither here nor there. Marijuana never made me want to try no drug. Marijuana made me want to get educated. Why? What's the big deal? And why this shit been criminally, federally subject one substance since like the 1920s or some shit? Like what? Or the 1820s? Like what? What happened? Like what's this? What's the big deal about this? And people walking around here sleeping on outside from popping pills or just laying down on it. They in front of their own house. Not the fuck out. They didn't pop some type of pill and got them to sleep. Niggas be hustling. Y'all hustle dope. How do you hustle dope with high on dope? You got a pocket full of drugs and money. Fall asleep on your post and shit because you didn't pop some drugs. Niggas just walk around your own friends. Not no rival drug dealers because they never came to neighborhoods and did dumb shit back in the day. It's your own folks. Dig in your pockets, take your shit. You finally wake the fuck up. Go back to the crib, patting yourself, talking about what happened to my stuff. These niggas that took your shit, sitting right there, eating shit, playing with shit. And doing shit that costs money of shit they took from you. Talking about, I don't even know, dog. Counting money in front of you, smoking weed. They just bought off that shit they stole from you. Divvied up your pack. I don't even know, dog. I wasn't even, I wasn't even out there. See what drugs do to you? Marijuana never had me off my shit like that. And if it make you like that, you don't need to smoke no motherfucking marijuana. Stay away from it. Stay away from it. Like my homie D told me. That shit don't affect everybody the same way. So if you somebody that go, oh, you thought you saw a coyote, but it really was your man, Jay, and you thought that you were sitting on a tree talking to him, but really you were sitting on your couch 
you need you need not to smoke no motherfucking marijuana. You might want to stay away from that job. You know what I'm saying? If you think your mom is the abominable evil snowman coming to kill you and you punching at the evil snowman, but that's really your mom saying, what did you want for dinner? You don't need to be smoking no marijuana. Stay away from it. But because I've never hallucinated in almost 30 years of cannabis use, then getting educated on the terpenes that are naturally occurring not only in all flowers and rinds of fruit that grow, but also cannabis. And that's really what gives us the better feeling and boosts our immune system are the terpenes, not the tetrahydrocannabinol like the THC. That gives you euphoria. That can have you saying this shit good or not. If you expect to get high off of weed and you go outside and buy some weed and you go home and smoke your weed and you're like, man, I feel the same way I felt before I smoked this shit. Then chances are there was some bullshit you bought from little Bobby inside the Chinese store. But I've never had that issue in the last seven years of being a medical marijuana patient right here in Pennsylvania. Locking this thing on down. I don't give a damn what strand I've got. You know, the only disappointment I had is that sour diesel is not like that street gassy, gassy smell like sour diesel phenotype. It's some lemony citrus shit from dispensaries. It's still a good flower, but I'm just mad that I can't get no more. It smell like diesel fuel, sour diesel. They got all this fruity diesel, all this lemony scented diesel. But they say sour diesel. One of them is sour diesel. It literally is like a, a damn near like a, a sandalwood mixed with like lemon citrus rind. I'm like, yo, where's the gassy phenotype of sour diesel? Like, what the, what, what did y'all do to that? But it's not a bad flower to make you wish you never bought it. I've listened to so many stories for so many years before, during, and after my consumption of marijuana that people have spent whatever they spent. Some ladies come home from work, wash their kids up, help them with their homework, feed them their dinner, pat their back for the baby. They go to bed. The kids is in sleep. Now you can do what you want to do. You go call your peoples up, bring me some motherfucking marijuana. They come bring you your little nickel bag, your little dime bag. That's the only little five or ten dollars you can spend for yourself right now until you get paid next. And you get mad as you get mad as hell when you go roll your little joint up with top paper, or you get your little easy body, your Dutch, your Bluntville, your zigzag, your Abba Zabba, chew that thing, and then roll up something like a Bluntville, twist the hip. It don't matter. As soon as you do that, you start smoking thinking, yeah, I get to chill. My kids in bed, they fed. Homework is done and checked. I signed it. Baby sleep upstairs. I'm downstairs in the basement chilling. You start to smoke. You find yourself talking to yourself like, man, I've been down here for the last 20 minutes smoking this thing by myself. And usually when I'm with my homegirls or homeboys, I take a couple puffs and I'll be feeling nice. Now, maybe I'm tripping. My tolerance is breezing. But I'm smoking this whole thing by myself. And I don't feel nothing. Now you're mad. And then when that shit gone, you still don't feel that. You calling up little Bobby, man. What was that bullshit you sold me? That was like I was smoking oregano or some rabbit food or something like that. Did you give me some motherfucking catnip, boy? You mad as hell that you bought that because it didn't do absolutely nothing for you. Fast forward to medical marijuana and recreational marijuana in any city or state that you may have been in. You do realize, like, now that they actually have real legislation and, like, real, like, growers. For all you conspiracy theorists that say a government... <laughs> will grow the weed and send it to all the drugs. Federal law supersedes and oversees state law, just to let you know that. And federal, regardless of it's the new, it's a Schedule Three substance, or back when it was Schedule One, it's still federally criminalized. Therefore, even real dispensaries, like some that's been in California, statewide, no problem. Police even come, get lotions, uh, uh, edibles, flowers, ancillaries, topicals, right? But federal agents come right in there, boom, kick shit over, knock over your display, rip your plants if you got to grow in-house, shoot your dog, wasn't even barking, do all types of shit federally because, oh, it's still illegal, federally, right? Now watch this. As you sit back and you be smoking on shit, think about this. And you got this conspiracy in your head that the marijuana grown and sold at dispensary, whether recreational and or medical, in any state, country around the world, is from the government making it and trying to tax it now. You're on something else besides marijuana. You are on drugs. I'm just going to say that. You are on drugs. I'm just going to say that. One more again. You are on drugs. I'm just going to say that. Because federally, which is the government 
they, you see what they do to each other. I don't know if you was watching last year and this year what the government was doing to each other, like exposing each other and snitching on them and the federal government, uh, what's his boy name? The, uh, the director of, might be former director now, of the FBI, Christopher Ray, W-R-A-Y, Ray. Uh, yeah, how he was like in the House of Congress being like grilled and all that shit by like his own people. Like, yeah, isn't it true that you did this? I can't really talk about that. No, you're gonna talk about it. Damn, they they exposing their own self. They telling him, they telling on each other. They need some motherfucking weed. They the ones need to be smoking that shit more than me. I'm just saying, I got spinal stenosis, silicone so addicted neuropathy and sciatica and shit like that. They want to cut my neck open, do some shit called a laminectomy where they taking out real shit. I didn't know it until they told me laminectomy where they want to take out my C two, three, four, and five and put in some titanium rods and metal mesh or whatever they call that shit. Nope. Or if I got to do it like the theme song of James Bond, but just use the word no instead of din it din it din it be no, 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 no. No, I just do it like that. No, you ain't doing that. I'm 41, not 30 dumb. I'm not about to let you cut my fucking cervical spine out. I know a little something. I know I didn't follow my dream of being a doctor or even a cardiac heart surgeon. You feel what I'm saying? I didn't even get there. Because I ended up changing my thoughts when I was a child with computer technology. That's what I did. But, like Dr. Daniel Hale Williams created and successfully, successfully, on real people, done quadruple bypass surgeries. I was very interested in the medical field, so I read up. And even after changing the direction I wanted to go in as a child, not in college or high school, as a child in elementary school, I still read up on medical things, and I just seen some stuff that just made me feel weird. Because as much stuff I see, whether it was movies satirically talking about this, whether it was news talking about somebody was doing something with weed and marijuana so bad, or just watching sports shows and hearing Stephen A. Smith, and he's still smoking the weed! Even if it was that, it's so bad and demonstrative, yet some of these other folks that might not be of certain ethnic backgrounds be doing hardcore drugs, Slapping their wives, beating and malnourishing their kids, tying niggas to leashes in basements. They don't say nothing about the drug use being the problem or possibly a cause and effect for these actions. In fact, you never even know about these things unless you was in the neighborhood where people get swept up when shit like that happens. Some of us are privy to this. And we're not attention whores. So we're not going to go trying to sell our stories and stuff like that. No, 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 we just going to let y'all know, beware, because it doesn't happen just in Hollywood with people that got money. It happened right around the corner from you and all that type of shit, too. So keep your eyes open, make sure it's not you. You know what I'm saying? But I digress. With all the hatred that I've seen this flower get, do you know it's been like seven doctors at one time that all were in different parts of the world that all, like, did what doctors do? You got to go to all this schooling, get all this degree, and go back medical school, go back master's, go back again. Got to do all this shit, right? Real doctor shit, right? How come these seven people don't know each other, by the way? Weren't friends that went to school together? They all mean it. Nope, they was all different parts of the world. But all went to school, medical doctor, got their degree, took the Hippocratic oath, do no harm, all that, right? They just didn't work for hospitals or didn't want nothing to do with big pharma. Don't know why? That's their life, right? Now, they still did real medical research. They were still legal doctors. They just were independent. They didn't want to work for no hospitals or no government people, right? Guess what all seven of them people were researching? Didn't know each other. Not like they emailed each other notes or nothing. Just on their own. Cannabis. And the effects it has on your white blood cell count, your mitochondria. You don't even hear that word. I know. You don't even hear that word, mitochondria. Some of y'all don't even read that word no more. Not because you can't read because they don't print it. But I digress. It helps out your white blood cells. That's your immune Bop, 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 fighting off diseases in your body, right? And guess what they made connections with? How cannabis be killing and fighting off cancer. Now, wait. These doctors didn't exist in a time where we had to read the Bible to find out they told us about this. We had to read the Quran. We had to read the Torah and the five books of Moses. No. This is now. So, early 2000, 2013, when it's broken news and everybody on 2020 talking about it's a coincidence. First of all, there's no such thing. Stop letting people tell you that fucking word. There's no such thing. Stop saying that. But there's no such thing as that. Don't let nobody tell you that. Don't let nobody tell you that word. That's when you know they're trying to bullcrap you right there in front of your face. It's a coincidence. 
you're lying already. I know you're trying to pull the game. That being said, these seven doctors, men and women, all different ethnic backgrounds and shit, right? Made connections in medical marijuana. I'm sorry, not medical marijuana. Marijuana in general because it's medically a medicinal plant. You don't just have to go to a dispensary. That It's grown that way. But anyway, they found out it helps your white blood cell counts, fight off cancer, your mitochondria is stronger, immune system boosted, all these different antimicrobial, antibacterial features and things of that nature. They started studying the terpenes and how they help and all that stuff, right? They all died on the same day. All their research burned away. They never talked to each other, never emailed each other, never got on a Skype where that was popular because that just like started being a thing back then. Never did nothing with each other. But all of them were doing the same type of research and all mysteriously died and all their research mysteriously vanished and some shit was burning. How they all had the same type of something burning up. Same day. And they just seven independent people. You see how minute that would be compared to like the people who work in the medical industry? Count seven people who went to the same school and got the degrees and all that. They just did not want to work for a hospital or a big pharma. They were independent. That's the only difference. They did not want to work for the government hospitals or pharmaceutical companies. But they got the certification. They got the degrees and all that. And they all seven died. That little small, that's not even 0.1%. And look, they got rid of them and all their research. And now look, hey, all these, every state decriminalized for medical and or recreational use of marijuana. Ain't that crazy? And federally, you can't sell flour from a state that it's not grown in. And I'm not talking about me and you on the streets hustling drugs. I'm talking about dispensaries who follow the state guidelines for medical and or recreational use of cannabis. You cannot, in that state, sell flour that's shipped from another state. First of all, if they ship that flour from another state, that's trafficking. Just like those of you who think, because you don't got your medical marijuana card, you live in PA, you can go drive to New York or go drive to New Jersey, and they don't got, they got recreational laws, so you can go get some rec, and then you drive back on the expressway coming back. If you're not from the state that you bought it from, and if for any reason you get pulled over by the police, and they see... You got medical marijuana or you got cannabis from a real dispensary and that shit say Cure Relief New Jersey, Cookies New Jersey, whatever New Jersey, whatever New York, Cure Relief New York. They be like, wait a minute, this nigga got PA plates and he got this bag of marijuana and it say, the logo say such and such New York, such and such New Jersey. Guess what you just got caught with? A trafficking charge. See, you can only have an eighth. You could have went down there, hey, man, I ain't got no medical marijuana card, but I don't need one in Jersey. I'm just going to buy me an eight for that shit called Pancakes and Make It, and I'm going to come back. You know what I'm saying? Boom. You bought the Pancakes and Make It, and you was hoping that you was going to make it back. But for some reason, police pulled you over. You was going too fast, leaving out the pay station. Pulled you over. Man, what you going so fast for? Oh, man, that's my fault, man. I was trying to grab my phone. My foot was on the jaw. My fault, man. The nigga see the bag. There ain't nothing wrong with you having weed. That ain't the problem. But the nigga can read. It's a police officer. He a human being. The nigga can read. The bag is going to say something. The bag is going to say, wherever the store where you was at, is going to say that. Oh, shit. You was just there in Jersey? My fucking friend goes there. Blah, 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 blah. Y'all have a good conversation. But then common sense kick in. Your plate say you from a different state. And you on the expressway heading back to that state, or at least in the direction of that state, from where that bag logo say you came from. Because there's no way that store is in the state that you were in saying it's from the state that you came from. Meaning, if you just came from Morristown, New Jersey, the bag is not going to say Cookies PA. It's going to say Cookies NJ or cook, or Cookies Moore's Head, just like Harrison. It say Cookies Harrison. There is, you know where that is? In Jersey. You just got caught with a trafficking charge for an eighth. So, federally, still, you cannot sell flour as a dispensary. As a person, you should already know that you ain't supposed to be selling flour street at all. Whether they got recreational or... Uh, medical marijuana for you to smoke. You're not supposed to be a regular nigga on the street selling no weed. No, so it's not for you that I'm saying this. It's for the dispensaries, the people who got real businesses and companies that sell the marijuana. They can't take, like when you see Tyson 2.0 weed inside Pennsylvania. Do you know Tyson did not ship that from Vegas and it says Las Vegas and his address and all that on the bottles? Because the dispensary and Tyson would both be in federal prison. 
with these companies that are now branching out to different parts of the world when they were only in California, when they were only in Colorado, but now they're in Chicago, now they're in New York, now they're in Pennsylvania. They send a representative for those companies. I'll use Tyson in this example as I just used his Tyson 2.0 undisputed product. He comes to Pennsylvania. He visits all the different growers, whether it's Cure Leaf, Grassroots, Cresco, Organic Remedies, whoever, Moxie, Roll One. He visits all the companies that he's interested in, that he thinks could be good enough and suitable to get his genetics to grow his shit. He visited all of them. And you know who he chose? He chose G Leaf here in Pennsylvania. So he gave G Leaf, Green Leaf Thumb Industries, the industry secrets to how to grow his shit and his seeds and all that and the genetics. They started growing his shit in Pennsylvania. So if you ever get any, I don't care what dispensary you go to, if they're carrying Tyson 2.0 Undisputed and you pick up the bottle and you can see all the terpenes and everything, it also got the address and where it's grown, the, the grower processor number, the license and everything, it'll tell you the exact address and where it was grown and it'll tell you grown by, processed by, Green, th uh, green Leaf Industries, such and such, PA, 1-9, blah, 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 blah. It'll show you that. Like, oh, snap. I ain't no Tyson shit be growing in PA. Yeah, because you cannot take a product that's a flower for medical cannabis or any type of cannabis from one state and sell it in another state. First of all, again, even sending it is trafficking. Let alone it got there and nobody got caught trafficking product from one state to another. Like, wait, this shit say Vegas and it's going to PA. Seize. Like, nope, they just let it go. And then you got it to your place and you sold it. Oh, shit, that's fucked up for you, man. So, again, with these laws and knowing all this stuff, how do I know this? I read. My shit don't come from somebody sitting next to me like, yo, my man told me that in three months they're going to change the legislation, so you're going to have to make sure. No, I, I, I got this because I'm a patient myself and I got to go to different places. I got to sit down in certain symposiums because I want to educate myself. I don't just say, give me some weed. It's time to get stoned, man. No, 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 I'm actually a patient. I don't mind the feeling that medical marijuana gives me. But I don't want to make it seem like, yes, just get stoned because it's cool. Like, nah, you got to be responsible in this because I've seen the influences that other things have had on the youth. Look at how these kids are now coolly talking about, yeah, I'm on meth. Yeah, it's a teenager talking about, yeah, we were at the party. I did a couple things of LSD and I had some meth. And then we were just chilling, had a couple drinks. We were drinking some PBRs. Y'all fucking young bucks. Y'all teens. My son older than y'all, he ain't doing this. This nigga in college. He about to get a two-year degree, transfer to college, get another two-year degree. What the? I, I know he had beer. I know he tried to blood. The boy talked to me. It's my son. No reason to lie. Me and his mom cool as hell. These kids on the news when something bad happens. Somebody hurt themselves at the college party. And they get interviewed by the news. What happened? Well, I know. We were just there chilling. And they're like, for a minute, like, I understand that we were, like, kind of stoned. Because, like, we had had some, like, acid. So, like, we were tripping. But she didn't have acid. She was like, no, I don't do A's. I do E's. What is ease? Oh, she was doing ecstasy. And then, like, my friend Ron, he was like, wow, you don't do A's. I don't do E's. I do M's. So then, like, we were like, what's M's? And then, like, he was like, it's the extract of what she's taking. It's like Molly. So, like, we're all in there just, like, freaking stoned our mind. So we were, like, like free love. Everything was, like, cool. And then, like, she went to go walk up the steps. And I guess, like, she missed one. And that's when she slipped and, like, hit her head. Like, but I was stoned. So, like, you know. They freely admitting they're doing hardcore drugs as children. Meanwhile, it's so taboo to have marijuana around you. I don't know what the hell I'm about to do. I have no idea. I don't know. I don't know what I'm about to do. This is ridiculous. So this is why I'm glad I be like on the legal side of the game in terms of anything that you can do. Why not do it legitly? That being said, if you live in Pennsylvania and you're trying to get your medical marijuana card, please visit conacare.com. K-A-N-E-H-K-A-R-E dot -E com. Once again, K-A-N-E-H-K-A-R-E dot -E com. We holding it down for new patients 125, unless you're military or got SSI, then you get it for 75. Conicare dot com. Get your medical marijuana cards and do it legit. I'm just saying, we out here. You might as well do it the right way. And now featuring Hannah G, the homeboy Tone Butter in the double extended music mix. Make it last forever. <laughs> Girl, let's put our hearts together. I was 
made to love you. Ever since I was a youngster, I've been thinking of you. You the woman of my dreams, my fantasy queen, the most precious little thing that my eyes ever seen. You know I like you when you smile with your teeth all white. Wipe your tears when you cry, it's gonna be alright. We both came a long way, a lot of hurt and pain. But I promise you no one will never hurt you again. Got my back, I got your back, I'm holding down together. We can hit our favorite spots, cruise the town together. I done had so many women try to down the brother. I asked this gave us hell, that's how we found each other. And now that I got you, I ain't letting go because you feel like home. And I've been out in the cold. Kind of funny how I knew you was the one from the start. Waiting, anticipating for the key to your heart. Never believed in true love until the day I was saved. So long, my heart was buried in the COVID of grave. Now all this love inside me like a chest full of treasure. It don't belong to you. Let's make this last forever. Now all this love inside me like a chest full of treasure. It don't belong to you. Let's make this last forever. Up in 
a life like ladder. When me the young, me that be hide it from me mother. Used to jam up the back, then we stagger. Hers make me get gladder. Can't give a scope, no can't jam him out of stomach. Any man will lock up in the earth, if he let go from the slammer. Excuse me while I like to speak for our manners. Can't jam for breakfast, can't jam for dinner. Man, we get the first prize, I see ya the winner. Big pot of water, pan the fire, feed the limb ya. Can't jam alone, you not go kiss me with no cigar. Can't jam alone, you not go. Some say you. Say it must be the ganja. Say it must be the ganja. When you see me floating, then no must be the ganja. Then no must be the ganja. If you hear me choking, say it must be the ganja. Say it must be the ganja. This is not a joke thing. I the cure for the asthma. Wrap up a drop for the doctor. You put you smoking. Say it must be the ganja. Say it must be the ganja. When you see me floating, then no must be the ganja. Then no must be the ganja. If you hear me. Cherry Gelato is a slightly indicate dominant hybrid strain, 60% indica, 40% sativa. Created through crossing the delicious strands of lemon cherry gelato and strawberry fritter. This tasty bud packs a mouth-watering flavor with a focused, happy high that will have you feeling super calm from start to finish. Much like his namesake treat. Strawberry Cherry Gelato packs a sweet and fruity strawberry gelato taste with hints of spicy black cherries, sour citrus, and a weirdly satisfying hint of herbal sage. The aroma follows the same effect, although it does tend to lean towards the fruity side of the spectrum. The Strawberry Cherry Gelato will hit you with pretty quickly activating your brain with a substantial mood expeditiously, boost and a touch of focus ridiculously. You'll feel simultaneously alert and calm, easily taken in the world around you with happy and thoughtful introspection. I say happy and thoughtful introspection. Yeah, indeed. A relaxing body high accompanies this blissful boost, keeping you anchored without affecting your mental state. And with these effects and its on average high of 20 to 24 percent THC level, strawberry cherry gelato is said to be perfect for those treating chronic stress or anxiety, chronic pain, depression, cramps, or the symptoms of PMS. This bud has fluffy, heart-shaped, forest green nugs with bright amber undertones, thick red, orange hairs, and a coating of chunky golden amber crystal trichomes. And that, my friends, is what makes your marijuana look like it's diamond shining crystallization. The trichomes, ladies and gentlemen, would fall off as the keef in your grinder when your finger, 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 and grind it up. You feel me? Double high. I just had to give y'all that because, you know, we in a double extended music mix for the second and third combined. And I took like 40 minutes of the show talking. I didn't even know I was going to pontificate that much, but I did. And I'm not going to regret it. It's Radio AFG, half past the met, but no half stepping. You feel me? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. That being said, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go ahead and get into that track, locking it down and giving it back. As I said, Kev, that was just the lead artiste on that must be the ganja. 
is going to be the featured artist on the next track, performed and produced by your boy Hop, the track entitled EMS, Emergency Marijuana Sesh, featuring your boy Kev, Radio AMG Live. Rather this morning with the yearning for herb Slip to him from last night, it be the best Before I even wash my face, brush my teeth Take a shower and get fresh The gun just smoke up and fill up my chest Got the max, I'm a bombed out Glad the runs got me fried Phone buzz, texting, we got a barbecue Going on outside, of course I'm going slide Step out the whip, I don't walk, I glide Buy more this fish, sticky the steam Is this really your dream? Asking questions, getting answers from the figurine On my living room Table. Enjoy the fruits of my labor. Water loving explosion. Brain is exploding. Roll another bomb we call that reloading. I agree, ganja is smoking. Got floating from the other side of the ocean. Cheese and tongue, I see that bomb. While I'm meant to read the song. We sweet different flavors and taste. Brown on the great King Solomon's grave. And he was the wisest. But a split worked up the appetite. Key key busting on my end. Woke that the might take a flight. Up in the sky is like a sun. I like, got a sweet tooth, super candy, yeah, that's a life. Hey. Yes, we want to I'm on a money chase, and I'm 
never leave my pad without my bag. I ain't doing that. Double bag, yeah, go get my grass. Cause I'm true to that. Twist the hip and the pad grass. I go to the bag. Be someone to light me up. Light me up. Light me up. Be someone to light me up. Light me up. Light me up. Be someone to light me up. Light me up. Light me up. Be someone to light me up. Light me up. Light me up. Be someone to light me up. Featuring the homeboy Paulie the West Side Legend with the guys of Chief Hot. The bloodline locking it down with. Light me up right here on Radio AFG Live. We got two more tracks to go in this second style of the extended media mix. We're going right into the third with a little word from the homeboy from the saga of URL.tv, Daddy Rack Academy, and all of that. But next up, as we hold it down on this thing, produced by Jalil Beats. How to at me? It's the homeboy B. Siegel holding it down with Top Shot Top. You know, radio AFG Live, they can't fuck with you right now because you're too hot. You want me to do, you want me to put you up on that. Right now, you're kind of hot, you know. I don't want to, I don't want to rush, I don't want to fuck with you because you are. Police all are watch you. See, it depends who that watch you, right? Blood clot, no. I ain't going back to jail, dog. Jail, dog. Jail, dog. <laughs> Splashing on me. And as a baby seagull. Uh, Those are my real bad man. I'm a sensitive man, bro. I see it bullet. Bucking free. Shut up. I'm a sensitive man. No, no, no. I'm a sensitive man. 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 I'm a sensit
shot right now. Last time I called, I got a decline. So don't ask for a ride right now. Uh, why you acting like that? Been a new phrase. You been lying for a while, not a few days. I'm insecure, that's a little bit too shake. I'm so cool, two L's and new J's. Ray bands, they go smooth with Kool Aid. It's that chips and score, that's the old leg. Find wine with chicks that let a parlay. We still love them, been up for two days. Stay up in the nightlife like vampires. Three shots, I'm hot, they probably gon' fire. My ex chick probably wish I would've got a dip. My ex 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 chick probably swallowing. We can never breathe in the same air again. Her name tatted on my chest when I'm hitting it. You see the name so damn, can he love again? Fuck love, I fuck hoes, they hollering. My head stick, get hit shit and get lips. Big chicks and fat ass with big tips. So soft, a biscuit from Biscuit. Real shit, my mind blown, now get this. Uh. Fuck being illis. Yeah, I'm the chillest. Uh, fuck being illis. Yeah, I'm the chillest. Uh, fuck being illis. Yeah, I'm the chillest. Uh, fuck being illis. I'm the chillest. Talk shit and fall back on old E's. With bad chicks who smoke weed and count cheese. Enough drinks on God, they go both ways. Smart chicks, you never see them in hallways. Sit penny and smile like we on Broadway. Mix that with Remy, I probably won't last. Black girls with him, they move so fast. Black taxi shoes, they show I got class. Black girls and swipe, forget about cash. More money to get, how can my sleep last? For a check, they leave a nigga with shit bags. The fat ass will leave a nigga with 10 max. The front page, I sit back and just laugh. That dumb shit, they keep going, it won't pass. They won't learn the cheap skills, they won't last. The what I got for a snitch, a toe tag. Uh, fuck Ben Ellis. Yeah, I'm the jealous. Uh, fuck Ben Ellis. I'm the chillest. Uh, fuck being the illest. Yeah, I'm the chillest. Uh, fuck being the illest. Yeah, I'm the chillest. The OBT, close to the Texas Yo, what's going on? It's your boy TH3 S A G A the Saga URL TV battle rapper and all that good stuff. But more importantly, I want to put y'all on to something for all independent artists and entrepreneurs. Radio AFG Live, man. Monday through Friday from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern via twitch.tv da da the number five deuce d u e c e gun. And uh, make sure to holler at my man, Hack, man, the5deucegun at gmail.com for all interviews and airplay. Make sure to check it out. Let's support the cause, and let's get in tune, man. Now if you got some music that you want to play in order to 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Wait, yo, wait, loud. Let's go, man. My name's to you. Let's go. Another day down at FLA. Like the beach, beach village where your homeboys stay. Might catch me in the pool, February. Chilling with my children and we grilling some steaks, yeah. Plus, my wife is a babe. I never would have thought life could be so great. Let's celebrate. Toasting to the good life. Every good day, we got to follow with a good night. I got a record label like Suge Knight. Beach Village Records named it after the hood, right? It makes sense that we make dollars. Every time we drop, the fans are copping it pronto. They want the whole collection. Every single album and single without an exception. And who am I to deny the fan base? In the Sunshine State, peep the band camp page. Another day down at FLA. Flag the beach, beach village where your homeboys stay. Another day down at FLA, flag the beach, beach village where your homeboy stay. Another day down at FLA, flag the beach, beach village where your homeboy stay. Another day down at FLA, flag the beach, beach village where your homeboy stay. Another day down at FLA, flag the beach, beach village where your homeboy stay. Might catch me with vanilla ice on A1A, at the funky melody and pasta on my plate, yeah. Take my wife on a date, maybe go to Faro and get some prime rib from Craves. We in the dopest little surf town. Now I'm at Tortugas at the open mic, I'm about to put a verse down. Just that beach side living, fine women, sunshine shirts, his white linen. Mike's killing the track in my illness. Man, I'm bringing it back, I know y'all feel this. This is that block party vibing. If you ain't with the program, go on inside. We gon' rock till the sun's out the sky Put your hands in the air, wave from side to side Come on, another day down at FLA Flag the beach, beach village where your homeboys stay Another day down at FLA Flag the beach, beach village where your homeboys stay Another day down at FLA Flag the beach, beach village where your homeboys stay Another day down at FLA Flag the beach, beach village where your homeboys stay Shorty 
know she got the right pedigree. I make the money, bring it back to the family. I keep repeating that like Groundhog Day. I'm early in the morning like Sway. I get paid. I go up, make the money. Money never made me. I'm a provider, so I'm always working my cheek. Well, it was out on the street, so kicking like Jet Li. On these beats, I be giving out game for free. Went from girlfriend, now you're the wifey. For you, I do the right thing like Spike Lee. Money get tight, it won't end. I say I like Lee. She really likes me. I'm her cup of tea. Yeah, and she been grinning from the beginning since we been in it. Pressure between the linens, just like all in it. I love everything that pertains to you. So I'ma hustle every day and be faithful and true. Come on, girl. Don't you see I'm out here hustling for you? You can see I'm out here hustling for you. I had to give you a little bop, you know what I'm saying? Something you can vibe to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom, bap, Jack, go ahead and take us out of here, baby. Come on. problem is you lie about everything and women just as guilty this is why i'm not surprised by everything not even thinking about husbands when they're eyeing wedding rings ha so what you think is going to happen it's like a comedy in the making it's like a tyler perry play just without all of the singing and so i ask have you ever been in jail before have you ever been in love if you haven't just know that both of them is rough but only one is easy breaking uh, up. You see, I thought about that one for a while. I thought about that one when I was breaking up with the lady that was the mother of my child. That got aborted because I couldn't afford it being too young and running wild. You see, I say it that fast because I'm not that proud. That at least wasn't at the time. But there's not that many out there either. I mean, yours might have made it through the fire, but it just landed into ether. So please, sir and ma'am, don't twist up your face. You do the same damn thing every day when you tell your kids to get the fuck out your face. <laughs> so what's worse, being a bad parent or being afraid to have kids because you never had parents? They say it's bad kids. I only think it's bad parents that act very irresponsible and just lack caring. You know, priorities messed up. They're only worried about appearance. Instead of worried about little Clarence, they worried about the next Clarence. But I'm going to need some interference. Now that I got your attention, like Adderall and Ritlin, I just like to mention schools and teachers and the teachers at schools and how I got my education from the streets because they don't teach us at schools. Plus the teachers, they don't live by the schools, so that's the disconnect. They only worried about the test when the text is just keeping us fools. You see, I attended Pepper Middle, but only went for the food. 
and couldn't sit still for them asinine lessons, so they suggested medicine to put me back in my stool. And my mother, bless her soul, because she thought it was cool. And now I'm sitting in class drooling with the rest of the students, but we focused. <laughs> no, spiritually, yes, it's done at our growth. Because instead of children exploring, we just sit and watch shows. See, my mom would have us to go outside, would make us go outside, and I would just sit on the steps. Instead of, usually, you would see me only when it was time to come in. But that was then, when I was outside with a friend. And instead of being inside lying dormant because they want to sell medicine and the parents, they bought it. But what I don't understand is, how could you grow to be a happy man when, as a child, you hinder his ability of enjoyment? See, we can take it even further like the teachers are the dumbest ones in schools. Because if they thinking that they teaching, then they really have been fooled. But, F it, forget it. When you come home and your kid come home and you start guessing about their homework, because you don't understand it. But, however, you got all A's at their ages and them grades... Just know and just think that they go to the same school system as you. And even if you got all A's at their age, you still don't understand what's going on. So, so yes, to all the parents at home, to all the teachers at well, I just want all of y'all to know, coming from Ill's Wills, it doesn't matter the teacher, just be a proper pupil. And that's just how it's going to go. In the meanwhile, I love you too. Stay blessed. Ills, Wills, Y2Z with schools and teachers right here on Radio ASG Live, man. As we continue to hold it down, more spoken word flow of tree, but a spoken word flow of Tris. We got the home girl, Alicia D with Swim Good next up on Radio ASG Live. Champion platform for independent artists and entrepreneurs. Go down the says, Acknowledge Tree. wasn't cranking consistently and that the windows to your soul didn't leave you feeling the They couldn't hear that voice inside. They, they couldn't hear that voice inside that told you to snap out. They couldn't hear your cries at night just wishing for quiet in your own mind. I know you were tired and just wanted to divide. You dived in, wanting to swim, even though you couldn't. You kicked off your shoes and carried away from being mentally abused your suit because you were dressed in a cloak of confusion. Just wanted to let it go. Swim for something bigger like mental illness, like alcoholism, like them voices that just wouldn't subside. Just wanted quiet inside. Swim towards peace. To let it go. Swim towards quiet. Swim for something bigger. Swim for something, something bigger. You just wanted to swim. Swim good. Swim good. Something bigger.
boy swim good right here on Radio AFG Live, ladies and gentlemen. Leaves, we still kicking it for you right here during the show. Don't you know how we go? Yes, indeed you do. So we're going to keep this thing moving right now with the homeboy doing this thing out of North Philly as well because, you know, we got to live that everybody who be from different parts of the day. So you got to give it your thing. Produced by the homeboy, so special beats. This is Danny Cash with Lord Knows Radio AFG Live. Champion platform for independent artists and others. Come on. Ready? Man, I promise to carry it like this for the rest of my motherfucking life. No else. I wanna talk to God, but when he talk back, felt you exciting me, fighting me till I fought back. Staying ready was taught that. If I'd take my sons to a war show, will I make it? Uh, seem 30, but I don't seem worthy. Came a long way from serving fiends early. It's me, myself, and I, that mean my team sturdy. See, smirking, not for the dead. Couple T, curly, curry with it. Respect is doing, nigga, hurry with it. Vision show when I was still blurry with it. Every night, turn up your right, it was a strip where they murkin' niggas. Human roadblocks, but I heard of niggas. The nerve of niggas, stick a nigga in me. Learn to send me, I'm throwing friendly. I'm throwing plenty. God's body, y'all know what's in me. I heard the bread is his way. I'll hit the road with Henny. When my swerve will work, I heard, but I can show them it be. This is the shit I'm built for. When them shots rang out, would I not survive with tears in my eyes? This is what I know for. Prayers in the sky, I reply, this is what I meant for. I wanna talk to God, but will he talk back? Feel you're exciting me, fighting me till I fought back. Staying ready was taught that. If I'd take my sons to award shows, but will I make it? Only Lord knows. Will I make it? Only Lord knows. Will I make it? No fitting squares in my circle, I can't afford those oh Avoid those who wish you fall, cause only no one knows uh, Fucking combo and feeling bad talk I was in that trap lost, praying I get these packs off Nights on that night out, I was yelling out back doors Then went for my future with black to grab a black force Stand on task, stuck in the task force Run a lap, snips, he gon' blast, mission is grab more Blast off, climb up the barrel, kicking these crabs off You better go get it, nigga, fuck you standing there mad for Throw a ring on the realest ass is the fattest Put her up with some game and now she after this cabbage You niggas passive and average, we just laugh at you bastards Leveled up the boss talk, got no rap for these rappers I can't ignore all them times when I was ignored I try to get my shit off the ground and they knocked me floored, of course I seen the road less traveled and took the course And the riders what gave me the drive, the fuck is yours? I'm all ears, all oh yeah, they all scared, I'm blessed I was the moon check rock, that's ball where I'm pulling up Trap fully tucked on hardware, when I now got tired of the nigga saying it's hard, yeah. Got tired of apartments that smooth and mansions. Been away, I got room for standing. There's purposes they can't stand us. Nothing is how we plan it. So double is what no hand is. Fuck who don't understand us. We come from under the gamblers. Shaking the dice to get a play at night. Make scruffy, no saving from all that shaving white. How the fuck go we lay your lights? You couldn't fathom what a day was like. We couldn't say your night. You want the tough then. That boy they tough then. 38 ways racing to bring them bucks in. We try and say grace over a place that we brung in. So with a straight face to a hater, it's fuck them with no regards. Cold as heart, pisses by the tools, know it's off. I run the type of real shit that could expose a fraud. Far from Harley, but stay close to God. Know these streets are welcome, you with open arms. Know the game cold, but the game goes. And when these niggas change modes, more than change clothes. Aim foes, flame throw, till your brains glow. Just to leave what I came for. Yeah. I wanna talk to God, but will he talk back? Feel like you're exciting me, fighting me till I fought back. Staying ready was taught that. If I'd take my sons to award shows, but will I make it? Only Lord knows. Will I make it? Only Lord knows. Will I make it? No fitting squares in my circle, I can't afford those. Avoid those who wish you fall, cause only Lord knows. I wanna talk to God, but will he talk back? Feel like you're exciting me, fighting me till I fought back. Staying ready was taught that. If I'd take my sons to award shows, will I make it? Only Lord knows. Will I make it? Only Lord knows. Will I make it? No fitting squares in my circle, I can't afford those. Avoid those who wish you fall, cause only Lord knows. Feeling so revived. What you got for me? Yeah. On everything I love, man. No more let ups. I swear to carry it like this for the rest of my life. RP to my father. I got it. So special 
Two beats that was North Philly's own Danny Cash locking it down. That track was entitled Lord Knows Right here on Radio AMG Live. We still in this third and final state of music mix on a Medicine Bag Monday vibe. Next up, performed and produced by the homeboy Kanaj of Alcatraz Records, featuring your boy Hot. This is Ice Cold here on the champion platform for independent artists and entrepreneurs. Radio AMG Live. Your God, your Jesus. Acknowledge Tree. <laughs> Can I? 
track right here in the third and final extended music mix of the show. Don't you know, that's how it go. It's the homeboy locking it down with the homie core. Southern 215 with Doc and Moses. Radio AMG Live. Champion platform for independent. I'm telling you, willing to go to jail, sit in jail for a thousand years for shooting that you don't even mean to shoot. And ain't even about no money. Come on, man. You gotta get back to the old feeling, man. Man, man. We're gonna get money, man. Call. Young 79, I appreciate you. Sharp neck, me, bro. Tell me, Robbie, get up. Backside, general. It was vicious how I came up, I'm glad I changed up I was pitching all them dimes, nicks, trying to save up On my knees, thanking God that I got my weight up I ain't had no 9 to 5, I used to bag to shake up Spit my truths every time and you know nothing made up My best advice to the youngins is go get your cake up I came from noodles, now I'm at the table, cutting steak up Never knew that money would be the reason we break up Uptown, baby, wise work, I gotta shape up I'm a diamond in the rough, I made the labels pay up Wasn't easy, but I'm tough, so I never gave up Got the rock and shot a three, I could've did a layup Same nigga on and off the court, I go buy Shakur Spending money on that Hermes, I'm about to buy some more Still think about the times when I was broke and not a ball From a hood where niggas cut though, man dog, I'm from the floor I had showed my dog love, but then my dog wanted more If it's up, then it's stuck until we bring it to the floor God always gonna bless me, cause he know my heart pure Chasing dreams, it gets stressful, especially when you can't afford Try and get my wind up, I'm out in Cleveland, out on tour Hit the stage, I had gave him something small, they wanted more They was telling me I'm winning, I didn't even check the score In the picture, I was grinning, I was somewhere by the shore What's your name? I go by 7-9, but you could call me Core. Young Hashim, flow is mean, I'm gonna take it to extreme It was great clouds over me, but now I'm seeing green Either showing love or hating, dog, it ain't no in-between Money rule the world, point me to the cream Y'all know I'm super thorough, and by the way, it's 1K for my jeans If you get what I mean and it's an iron win, but it ain't an iron win. I'm trying to turn it all around. I'm trying to turn it all around. We've been through ups and downs. My feet is on the ground. Doing it for the time. I'm trying to turn it. I'm trying to turn it. I'm trying to turn it all around. Hey, let's pull it out of the chamber. Freedom figure. Every last soldier hanging is dangerous. Samurai, I swing the SK like a saber. Take it back to them back blocks. Do with the saber. Street code was sacred. You made a mill off the page up. Took the charge for your man. Now he owe you a favor. Drive it straight to you. A mean plug at Avis. 17-5 at 17. I take it. Now my only job is to bring the niggas I came with. Backside creator. Got rap fans in Asia. Uh, this for them niggas that fraud and we never needed them. Brought text in the game like we refereeing them. You must be blind to the fact that you ain't seeing them. Turn from here to UK like since you seeing them. And this for all of the teachers that ain't believing them. Long as the family is good, we keep on feeding them. They saying FTA, he be with freeing them. And she ain't even want no check. She see the G in them. The Porsche ain't pitch black, but the range is. Chopper switching like crane kicks. I'm the karate kid. Daniel LaRusso, moving at you know. Keeping them shooters around the mic, Tony Kukoc. Shop open, shop closed, that's just how it go. 50 shots in the sticky, we let them all go. As far as flows going, boy, I'm one hit away. We innovate, leaving jokers like we running late. The war report, N-O-R-E, S-O-N, Young 7-9 from that UPT. That's burning to the rugs, love for the thugs. The op never saw the shooter, he felt the slugs. Back when mama love felt my drugs, I was sick then, never forget what I done, cuz. Down in Philly, these niggas play grimy. Nines out, not the soul out your nine nineties. At the poppy, selling Fetty at the liquor store. We just try and give them all when they got my nigga call. We try to turn it all around. Yeah, turn the quarter to a pound. Yeah, make you niggas bow down. Yeah, get this one for uptown. Turn it all around. I'm trying to turn it all around. I'm trying to turn it all around. Ups and downs. My feet is on the ground. Doing it for the time. I'm trying to turn it. I'm trying to turn it. I'm trying to turn it all around. What's up? 
It's your boy Jersey Drake, and you are now rocking with me. You confused, are you the husband or wife? Right. Got all our young and out running in the streets. Slugs thrown on while hugging they beans. The scene. Or in the cell with the rest of their team. My team brothers out there sucking for beans. Sheesh. Wake up in the morning, shit, shower, shave. Basics. And then grab your phone, whoop on social media waves. Hey, what's going on in the hood or the crooks that I'm hustling? You first one look up on the book. Let me tell you that. Then you hit the gram, my fam. Then you gotta hit X, my man, to see a few flowers. Go ahead, hit the X up. See a few cheeks left the right shape. Five spraying the two bricks. Gotta live their life right too. OnlyFans.com. Subscribe your ass right too. Six ninety nine, nine ninety nine. Don't give a fuck, baby. Cause actually, not subscribed to the five. This a different type of view. Season five, episode twenty two. From the same one that ride with you. Turns into the one that pulled a four five when you think you signed a contract. It's all out of contact. Open your eyes and take a look. Real life's much better than a grand or a fucker. Social media is doing your rights. Got you confused. Are you the husband or wife? Right. Got all our young and out running the streets. Slugs thrown on while hugging they beans. The scene. Or in the cell with the rest of their team. While team mothers out there sucking for beans. Sheesh. Accountability been lacking for a minute. Like, damn, that's God. exactly why these little boys and all these women. Uh -huh. Out here, look, they the old heads from back then. Uh -huh. No, they the young bucks. We the old heads from back uh -huh. then. Who won't stop them? They afraid they gon' clap in. Yeah. Fuck that, I back smack them. But let's get back in. Uh -huh. Position with all the shit I'm spitting when rapping. This the reality show and y'all can close cast shots. Uh -huh. Every word is observed uh -huh. that the pupils hey. can't see through my pupils. My corner, you aching through you. Get, it, get, it. get the idea and picture what they doing. No, oh, they confusing to see the most of us all delusions. I'm confused. It's all fuck you, pay me for a bag, right? Ladies say they ugly paying for an ass, right? The young boy not thugging, he got a pass, right? He go to college till his young ass get blast, right? Open your eyes and take a look. Real life's much better than a grand or a fucker. Social media is doing your rights. Got you confused. Are you the husband or wife? Right, got all our young and out running the streets. Slugs thrown on while hugging they beans. The scene, or in the cell with the rest of their team. My team mothers out there sucking for beans. It's your boy Jersey Drake, and you are now rocking with me. Open your eyes and take a look. Real life's much better than a grand or a fucker. Social media is doing your rights. Got you confused. Are you the husband or wife? Right. Got all our young and out running the streets. Slugs thrown on while hugging they beans. The scene. Or in the cell with the rest of their team. My team mothers out there sucking for beans. Sheesh. Wake up in the morning, shit, shower, shave. Basics. And then grab your phone, whoop on social media waves. Hey, what's going on in the hood or the crooks that I'm hustling? You first one look up on the book. Let me tell you that. Then you hit the gram, my fam. Then you gotta hit X, my man, to see a few flowers. Go ahead, hit the X up. To see a few cheeks left the right shape. Five spraying the two bricks. Gotta live their life right too. OnlyFans.com. Subscribe your ass right too. Six ninety nine, nine ninety nine. Don't give a fuck, baby. Cause actually, not subscribe to the This a different type of view. Season five, episode twenty two. From the same one that ride with you. Turns into the one that pulled a four five when you think you signed a contract. It's all out of contact. Open your eyes and take a look. Real life's much better than a grand or a fucker. Social media is doing your rights. Got you confused. Are you the husband or wife? Right. Got all our young and out running the streets. Slugs thrown on while hugging they beans. The scene. Or in the cell with the rest of their team. While team mothers out there sucking for beans. Sheesh. Accountability.
ability been lacking for a minute. That's exactly why these little boys and all these women. Out here look, they the old heads from back then. No, they the young bucks. We the old heads from back then. Who gon' stop them? They afraid they gon' clap in. Fuck that, I back smack them. But let's get back in. Competition with all the shit I'm spitting with rapping. This the reality show and y'all can close cash shots. For everybody that's observed that the pupils can't see through my pupils, my corner, you ain't can see. Get the idea and picture what they doing No, they confusing to see the most of us all delusions I'm confused, it's all fuck you, pay me for a bag, right? Ladies say they ugly paying for an ass, right? The young boy not thugging, he got a pass, right? He go to college till his young ass get blast, right? Open your eyes and take a look Real life's much better than a brand of a fuck Social media so doing your rights Got you confused, are you the husband or wife? Right, got all our youngins out running the streets. Slugs strong, no more hugging they beats. The scene, or in the cell with the rest of their team. While team mothers out there sucking for fees. Series finale in the Yukon Denali while you sitting in your driveway getting hair from a mommy. I know somebody on the side proud to plot and not watch it. I shot, pop, 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 and body drop and I. If we offer you to get a nigga's heart, it's the truth that I be saying, nigga, right up off my face. Proceed with caution what they tell you, but we all trying to be emulate pictures that they sell. First you wanna be like a rapper, the oh, best yeah. basketball player, but Smith all capture, hard style. Well, we can go ahead and push it in. No ditty, why you keep letting them niggas push it in? It was hard for you to get it when you had it, nigga. Now they crab happy, no claw, but they be crabbing niggas. Mr. Crab, nigga cool, cause the cops study grabbing niggas. Bitch, you do the same while the world study harassing niggas. Nigga, open your eyes and take a look. Real life's much better than a grand motherfucker. Social media so doing your rights. Got you confused, are you the husband or wife? Right. Got all our youngins out running the streets. Slugs strong, no more hugging they peace. You see, all in the cell, but the rest of they came. My team mothers out there sucking for peace. See y'all tomorrow as always in part. Be blessed. Less stress, fear no evil escape, nigga. What's up? It's your boy Drizzy Drake.